Ellie's Magic Wellies by Amy Sparks and Nick East. One miserable day, it rained and it poured. Ellie Pengeli was fed up and bored. Until at the door came a rat-a-tat-tat, and there stood Aunt Flo with her marvellous hat. I'm late for the dentist, said Mum. I must go, but you stay and play with your dear Auntie Flo. Her aunt gave a smile. You won't be bored, Ellie. I've brought you a pair of fantabulous wellies. Oh, thanks, Auntie Flo. They're great, Ellie cried. And look, it's even stopped raining outside. Just that find some puddles, Flo called after Ellie. And then you'll have fun with those wonderful wellies. Ellie found a big puddle for splashing about. But as she jumped in, a strange creature jumped out. My wellies are magic, cried Ellie with glee. The creature bowed low, as he said happily. I'm a flibberty gibberty, hip hip hooray. I'm out of my puddle and ready to play. Let's wriggle, let's giggle, let's skip to the sky. Play hippity hopscotch and flap till we fly. Let's zippity zoom, that's just what I like, the flibberty said as he hopped on the bike. But after a while, Ellie ran out of puff. I'm tired, she said. Haven't you had enough? Nonsense and flip-flap, the flibberty said. No time for flop-flopping, come stand on your head. A thought came to Ellie. Let's go in and eat. The flibberty clapped. A splendidly treat. He darted inside, flinging open the door and emptied the fridge out on Mum's kitchen floor. Let's juggle with jam and jiggle with jelly. Let's guzzle and gobble, he giggled to Ellie. She looked at the floor. We should tidy away. But Flibberty said, Why, there's still time to play. Let's zoom through the rooms and bounce a bounce on the beds. Let's flubble with bubbles and wear pants on our heads. Then Auntie Flo called. That was Mum on the phone. She rang up to say she's on her way home. Home, squeaked Ellie, but look at this mess. Oh, put down that lipstick and take off that dress. We've both turned the house upside down everywhere, but I'll be in trouble. That just isn't fair. The Flibberty blushed. From my tail to my paws, I'm most muchly sorry for the trouble I cause. Ellie couldn't stay cross as she watched her friend bow, but she needed a plan and she needed it now. I know, said Ellie. Now listen to me. If we tidy together, how fast could we be? The flibberty clapped. We'll be quick as a flip and tidy in half of a tickety tick. The magical wellies made Ellie's feet zoom as soon they had straightened up all of the rooms. Then they ran to the garden and found Flibberty's puddle. I'm glad you could play, Ellie gave him a cuddle. So fabberty fundiful, her new friend said, but now I am ready for snoozles in bed. They held hands and jumped with a fabulous splash. And Flibberty vanished as quick as a flash. Just then Mum appeared with Aunt Flo at her side. Nice wellies, said Mum. Are you coming inside? Oh no, Ellie said. I would much rather stay and play in our puddly garden all day. Now I'm off for another adventure, said Ellie. More fantabulous fun with my magical wellies. <laughs>